Welcome back to the channel. We're headed to Zion National Park today. More or less just a solo camping trip down in Zion National Park. Never been to Zion, never camped, and I've never camped alone. So let's see how this goes. And honestly, shout out my buddy Cam. None of this would be possible without my buddy Cam. Hooked me up with literally everything I need. Tent, sleeping bag, cooler, literally everything I need. Um, so shout out Cam, you're a legend for making this happen for the kid. Having friends in different places, one of the best things you can have. Just drove down this road, this dirt road, for like two miles. I think this is where we're gonna camp out tonight. We're gonna go to the Narrows, which is inside of Zion National Park. Then we're gonna come back here after and set up camp. We're gonna go hit that now, go back down this shitty gravel road, try and get out to Zion, get over to the Narrows. I thought it probably wasn't the best idea if I were gonna leave my whole camping setup set up out there since it's about an hour ride to get out to the Narrows to the beginning of the, the trailhead out there in Zion. Yeah, we're not gonna set up till after. Doesn't make a lot of sense. Pretty sure that there's BLM land all up and down the road that I'm taking in there. So if I can find an even better spot that's closer, we'll do that. As you can see, we're in Zion National Park now. About to take a shuttle up to the Temple of Sinawaba, and that's where we're gonna be able to get access to the Narrows from up there. We're gonna find out where I gotta hop on this shuttle. We're gonna hop on and get the ball moving. to the temple of Shinawaba. Shinawaba, about to just follow the trail. Hopefully no flash floods today out here. Apparently that's a big thing. further down this trail we get, the narrower it gets, it really becomes the two canyons going up against each other. But that's where the narrows begins. Never really seen rocks this big in my whole life. Honestly, just jaw dropping more than it is anything. I don't know really what I could say that would do it justice. So I'm just gonna let the views do the talking for me.
late guys eat a little snack real quick but absolutely gorgeous i'm wearing vans again it's really not even that bad in the vans i see so many people doing this with walking sticks obviously since you're just walking on rocks up a stream but it's really not that bad and it's some of the prettiest views i've probably ever seen in my life <laughs> down now i'd say it's maybe 4 30 4 45 making great time through here i'm not in any rush though i just want to make sure we get back to set up camp at a relatively good time <laughs> wow it gets absolutely insane right here This is how you walk up this entire stream. You gotta be slow, get the foot placement before you send it. And honestly, sometimes you just get lucky. Doing stuff like this alone too, you get to think so much. I really appreciate the little things that you have in life. Can't say it enough how grateful I am to be out here being able to do stuff like this. I feel like a lot of people are able to, but they just don't want to put themselves in the position. But coming from me, anyone could really do it. First time on the hike, I felt the cool breeze. It was fantastic. Alright guys, it's like the first time on the trail. I haven't seen anyone coming up or down this entire time. Just checked the time too. About almost six o'clock. So I've probably been hiking for close to two, two and a half hours. So I think it's probably time we turn around. Realistically, I have no idea how much longer it goes up this way, but one of the most beautiful hike or walk up a stream that I've ever done. But yeah, I think that's a sign we need to head back that no one else is coming up anymore. It's exactly what we're gonna do. Let's head on out of here. And then hopefully, I'm gonna ask some random and people hopefully someone could recommend a good camping spot on some blm land you know so that maybe i don't have to go as far out of the park and that potentially i could get back in here tomorrow morning you know even quicker and just like that we're back out seen a friendlier squirrel than the squirrels that I'm seeing here on this trail out here. The squirrels just trying to come dab you up at any moment. And when you're walking right at them, they're not even getting out of the way. I'm gonna do my research, guys, and let you know as you're watching this. Really curious how high these walls of the canyon are. Gotta be a couple hundred feet at least. After talking to a few people on the trail, I think we we're pretty close to the end of the trail. Maybe another mile and a half. I think we did almost three miles though. I'm gonna come back out here tomorrow to the park and do a whole different hike. And this is beautiful though. Shout out my boy Fetchy for the recommendation. So we are back out of here. Time to get on another shuttle, get back to the car. Gonna eat some food real quick, probably down at the car and then go into the information center. Change out of these soaking wet shorts. 
got somewhere to be. Guys, and we're just getting back to the car now. Like I said, probably just gonna have a quick snack, change into some dry clothes, and honestly trying to figure out a camping situation. I asked the ladies in the information center. They really were no help, unfortunately. Really nice ladies, but didn't have any good info for me on where I could camp that was closer than where I already know I can. Probably got an hour and a half, hour 40 of daylight, so we gotta start making some moves. A couple yogurts with some granola. Beautiful view. It's like 7.30. Just got changed here in the parking lot. Time to go find our campsite for tonight. Let's change the plans again. I passed an RV park and campground. I'm gonna pull up, see if there's a spot. It looked like there was plenty of spots available in the parking lot, so we're gonna see how this works out. We pulled up. We got a camping space here for 15 bucks. It's just a lot closer than where I was going. Gives me time to actually set up my tent and start making some dinner before it actually gets dark. We got a spot to camp. We got a clean, nice spot to camp. I was gonna do a time lapse of me setting up the tent, but we're fighting daylight too hard. This is the campsite for the night. So I'll check back in with you once I set up the tent and we'll start making some dinner. All right guys, after way too much time, I finally have the tent set up. Time to get the sleeping pad inflated and then we'll go ahead and start making some dinner. Have the sleeping pad set up, sleeping bag rolled out. We finally got the tent set up. It's time to make some food before it gets dark on us. Just making some chili. Gonna be making some chili cheese dogs. Just sliced my hand on the can of chili. So I don't think I'm gonna be really filming. I'm just trying to make this food and not bleed all over it. We got some serious wind kicking. It's got some toilet paper wadded on my finger. Got the glizzies going. Right there, a couple Not the most impressive by any means, but we have some food, and that's the most important thing. Brushing my teeth right now, guys. Too dark to really see much. Get into the tent here in a sec. In the tent, gotta go to sleep. We'll see you guys in the morning. Alright guys, woke up a little while ago, it's like 7.30, gonna pack up camp, go back out to Zion. I was gonna cook some breakfast out here, but I think we're just gonna maybe grab some food over near Zion. And then probably go on another hike today and get out of here. You know around mid-afternoons we get home around 8 tonight, but let's pack up the camp. Alright, just finished packing up the campsite, got pretty much everything back in the car. Gonna head back over to Zion, gonna go clean myself up in the bathroom real quick. I'm sweaty, I feel fucking disgusting. Feel somewhat like a human again, go head over to Zion get ourselves some breakfast so this isn't like a traditional camping video obviously thought we were gonna go to some BLM land ended up going to an RV park and a campground never been camping before so we're gonna have to work our way up to real deal camping but honestly slept good slept good enough yesterday right before I got on the, the shuttle back down to the visitor center at Zion had bad shoulder problems for over a year now dislocated my shoulder as I was opening the door to the porta potty popped it back in in a few seconds but sleeping with the pain from that definitely wasn't the most comfortable but hey we got at least six hours of sleep I run on five hours of sleep so that's more than expected let's do it baby breakfast about to head back into the park head to the information center maybe buy my mom a little hat see the hat that was definitely her style in there yesterday and find out a good hike that we could go on just ate a lot it was great though shout out Mimi's cafe here in the canyon got to support those local businesses man especially a nice small mom-and-pop style spot what a view though that we had from eating breakfast couldn't get tired of these views guys could not get tired of these views Played myself so hard, guys. $35 to get into the park. They give you a receipt. I, I totally threw the receipt out yesterday after I got in. It's a beautiful day though, so things could be worse. I think I'm just gonna do the scenic drive, and then we'll go back into the visitor center and hop on a shuttle to that hike. It's crazy how small you feel in perspective when you're around rocks in this size. Just massive rocks. Look at these rocks. What a road I'm on right now. Top five coolest roads I've ever been on. Popped off the main road to take some pictures for a little bit. I just gotta show you guys these views. These are incredible. I'm about to enter the tunnel right now. This is pretty sick, a tunnel just in the red rocks. Sheesh! This is just an abyss.
figure out where the emerald pools are that the, the ranger was telling me about. She said it was like an hour and a half round trip, but I would probably go chill out there for at least an hour, so it'll turn it into like a three hour trip. Just stopped and took a look at the map real quick. Turning around, battery's about to die in case this clip ends, but I'll see you at the Emerald Pool Trail. Just filled up the Camelback, just parked in the overflow parking, so we're gonna have to walk over to where the shuttles are, about a half mile down the road, but no worries there. Beautiful out, got some cloud coverage, so it's not that hot right now. It's probably 90, low 90s, but feels good. I feel good, it's a beautiful day to have a day. Let's go on a beautiful hike. I'm not gonna lie, I just walked all the way to the visitor center, realized I left the camera sitting right here on top of the car. Good thing there's nice people out here, no one took my camera. I would've lost all the footage from this trip, but let's go do that entire walk again. Definitely sweating off that hot one today. I lied before with the, the cloud coverage, it's not as real as I thought. <laughs> What a view. Taking a quick break. This hike is just straight elevation. Just climbing the mountain. At least it's a trail though, at some parts, and not just rocks though. Pretty narrow trail at some parts. I mean, we're on a cliff, so there's a lot of rock fall along the trail. Looks like even some parts of the trail are eroding. All right, so we're at the middle emerald pool, but I just saw this sign. So I think we're gonna send it to the upper one. 0.3 miles, might as well. Just made it. Easily just got another 10 degrees cooler. there for like two hours it's about two o'clock so it's probably another 45 minutes down that really was an awesome spot though i could have hung out there literally all day had a perfect rock i was just laying down just completely slipped out on the log <laughs> the fact that i just got that on video was amazing this view even more amazing Pretty chill though. Got a whole like catwalk along the rock. Not much of a desert oasis right now, but. Pools trail, but it's time for us to get out of here sadly. Wish I could spend all the time in the world in Zion. I'll be back here many times in my life though for sure. But for this time, it's time to get out of here. The Zion Lodge is bumping though, man. People just out on the lawn and under this giant tree's shadow having lunch. Not a bad place to stay, it looks like. I 
stopped into the visitor center real quick. Grab my mom a hat, definitely up her alley. Grab myself a little pin. It says I hike the narrows. A little Zion pin for the backpack. I'm gonna start doing that. I already have a bunch of pins on my backpack. They're all like 96 Atlanta Olympics pins though. I have one other pin that a, a friend of mine gave me on there too, but I'm gonna start adding to the collection and get the backpack pinned up. Hopefully they don't fall off. It's been a beautiful day. I'm sure this is gonna be a great video, guys. I appreciate everyone for tuning in and watching. If you haven't already at this point, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, drop a comment down below. Let me know if you like videos like this. Got plenty more coming for you sorry for no upload on sunday it's sunday right now i had no way of getting the video uploaded today on time so thanks for watching and we'll see you on sunday